I don't know if this bit is funny. Imagine, think about Harry Potter and how he did this. He didn't probably stand on a chair haphazardly like I did and also forget the pins in the other spot, so hang on. I accidentally dropped all of my push pins in the carpet and I found five of them, but I initially had six. That's a little worrying to me. Get out of here! You know what? I've got this. This is gonna be easy. Okay. In we come! That was a stupid entrance. Hang on, I'm gonna redo that. Chair! Can you see me? How about now? That's a pretty cool effect. I'm gonna have to utilize that for the thumbnail. Holy shit. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the courtroom. You may notice there's something wrong with my eyes. That's because there's the, the hundred blinding lights right at me. Each one of them a distant star, pinprick in the galaxy, and each one of them is you. You are each a star and you're blinding me. I'm just kidding, I don't really like most of you. If you're new here, I'm gonna explain what's going on really quickly. We're looking at monkey cases. When I say monkey cases, what I mean by that is if a monkey did bad, if a monkey did a bite, did a steal, did a dance with some lady who wasn't his and didn't apologize, or give a kiss to another male monkey without saying no homo, sapien, then they get a guilty point. A guilty point will lead to their execution if too many points are accumulated. For instance, we're going to 10 point, five, bleh, five points today. So the first side to get to five points loses. Sorry, the, the rules I made up for my own stupid pretend game of playing monkey judge, are they, I can't keep track of them anymore. So we're gonna look at cases, case by case, maybe a video here and there, of monkeys doing monkey things. If the monkey's doing a bad monkey thing, and we think that maybe the monkey shouldn't have done that and the human didn't deserve it, we're gonna give the monkey a monkey point, a guilty point. Put him behind bars. Let's dumb that down a bit. If you're a returning viewer, I will put this in terms that we can understand. <laughs> We're gonna start with a text case today. October 25th, 2016, Wichita, Kansas. Tao, an orangutan held captive at Sedgwick County Zoo, escaped from an enclosure causing the facility to lock down temporarily. While loose, she made contact with a zoo patron, but didn't harm her. She returned to the enclosure about 10 minutes later. So this was just like, this was just a casual encounter. There wasn't any crime here. The monkey did escape, but they said he was held captive, which seems a little sketchy. Guilty point to man. That means I have to get a little pen. This is used for dungeons and dra- shut the fuck up. This is used for dungeons and dragons mostly. What's going on? Oh, you know what it was? It was my mini pretzel twists. I keep these here because I, I salivate a lot. And this is a tip for anybody out there who has very particularly active sal s salivation glands, saliva glands. Pretzels? Sorry. Pretzels are the fucking bee's knees at that. This shit will dry your mouth up in a second. I I'm fucking serious about this one too. You know, I really never understood that phrase, instant regret, until just now. There's pretzels fucking everywhere. I'm having an autistic meltdown right now because my feet are covered in crumbs. I don't know if you can see these. Look at my tootsies! Oh, my caretaker is going to have a conniption fit about this one. Humans are at one guilty point, and monkeys are at none. Next! September 17th, 2016, Nogales, no Nogales, Arizona. Benji, a 49-year-old capuchin kept as a pet, was reported missing by her owner who warned that the monkey was hard of hearing and could bite. That is an old monkey. I had to read this about four different times here because I couldn't tell if Benji was missing or if the owner was missing. We'll never know. September 8th, 2016, Rotterdam, New York. Austin, 
An 11-year-old pet black-capped capuchin went missing from a backyard play enclosure. Five weeks later, he was still missing. Thanks for that update, Rotterdam. These aren't cases. Who's putting- who's giving me these? Who's putting these in front of me? My bailiff fucking sucks. Okay, I haven't read this one yet, but I did see Walmart parking lot, and that really- that grabbed my attention. So August 14th, 2016 in Lancaster, Ohio. This one's in Ohio, too. A monkey escaped from a camper in a Walmart parking lot and jumped on an employee standing by a cart rack. His owner quickly grabbed the animal and returned him to the camper. Was that it? No law enforcement here? I mean, that seems outstandingly absurd. We can blame Monkey pretty damn easy on this one. This is a, this is a quick open and shut case. Monkey won, humans won. We're gonna do a video case now. So we're gonna take a look at a video on YouTube and we're gonna decide here if the monkey was guilty or if the human was guilty. Pretty self-explanatory, try to keep up. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, he's not happy. This is... Alright, I don't care who you are. If you've owned a monkey for 10 years, 11, even 12 years, I don't, I don't give a fuck who you are. But if your monkey does not like something clearly, if I was in that position, I would back away immediately. I could not be, I could not be a responsible monkey owner because I would, I would let it do whatever the fuck it wanted to. Listen, take it from me. I've, I pour my life into this. This is my w life's work. My calling is to watch these videos, read these cases, so I know what a monkey can do. I know what they're capable of. More than most. You, you could not get me to say no to a monkey. First of all, they're just too adorable. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that little guy. Second of all, I'm just too big a pussy. It is not okay. Oh, that was a, that was a little bite there. I did see a little bite, but that was a warning for sure. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, dude, what's coming? What's coming? He's amping it up. No. No. No, I'd be out of that room very quickly. This lady's a champ. Oh, here comes the diaper. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's not over. Wow. Cool video, my guy. <laughs> Monkey wipe the butthole. <laughs> I mean, he seems chill now. Okay, so I skipped to the end of the video because the rest of it was really, really boring. Um, I, I should have read the video title before making any judgments here, and I'm glad that I didn't do a verdict before I did. It says, Capuchin Monkey Bites Owner Over Hair Color Change. So I'm assuming she dyed her hair or bleached her hair blonde. The monkey was not having it. And uh, that was what that little tiff was about. I mean, honestly, a bit of an overreaction, if you ask me. One could argue that maybe she shouldn't have dyed her hair. I'm so sorry. I, I'm just, I'm not having a good time right now because I've got fucking pretzels still stuck under my toes and everything. I don't even remember what I was saying. So look, the monkey overreacted on this one. Who the, why the fuck? We're going to give the monkey guilty points. So two guilty points to monkey, one to humans. Let's move on to the next text case, shall we? If you hear clicking and clacking, that's the pretzels. Uh, August 9th, 2016, Natural Bridge, Virginia. According to a USDA safety log, a spider monkey was euthanized while having difficulty breathing. Ah, the spider monkey! <laughs> that's that's really dumb. That was a really dumb joke. I uh, so super stupid. <laughs> According to the USD safety log, a spider monkey was euthanized while having difficulty breathing. A culture determined that the animal had tuberculosis, 
Let's try that again. Tuberculosis. Four other spider monkeys had been housed with this one, and one displayed clinical signs of TB during an inspection, which was determined that it that it ten ten it was determined that ten animal care staff members had potentially been exposed to TB over the previous eighteen months, and evaluation, monitoring, and testing were requested. Well, that's good because in a previous case like this, we saw one monkey alleged to have some kind of disease. I don't remember what it was but they killed the monkey to see if it actually had this disease and it was housed with like four other ones the monkey that they killed didn't have the disease and then they killed the rest of the four monkeys pretty cool uh, pretty you know pretty based if you ask me so i mean this feels like no one's really guilty here right oh oh no they did kill this one they did kill it but i guess it had tuberculosis which i guess is uncurable in the monkey world but I will not accept that answer. I will not accept that answer that monkey deserved to live. Human guilty. Two to two. Next up. Boy, we got a lot of capuchins in the courtroom today. A lot of pretzels too. A nine-year-old girl was bitten by a capuchin at the Virginia Beach oceanfront. She was gathered there with a crowd to watch some summer performances. Sorry, I'm just realizing now, I should probably read this with a bit more of a newscaster inflection. Uh, I really, you know, I want to come off as official as I can so that these monkeys get the justice that they've earned. So I'm going to run that back real quick. August 4th, 2016, Virginia Beach. August 4th, 2016, Virginia Beach, Virginia. A nine-year-old girl was bitten by a capuchin at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. She was gathered there with a crowd to watch some summer performances. A man holding the monkey ran away with the animal before police and medics arrived. The girl was taken to the emergency room with a bite wound on her hand. Okay, so I was really focused on putting that expert performance on, so I didn't actually process any of what I just read, so I'm gonna have to go back through and just... All right, so this seems like a double jeopardy, and that's definitely the correct term that we use here in this courtroom. Double jeopardy. Both the monkey and the human are guilty. The monkey guilty for biting, the human guilty for taking him away, for fleeing the scene, in fact, which is a real crime, not even just a crime in this courtroom. One for each of them, look at this. That's official, and you can take that to the bank. Is this entertaining? I'm, I don't know if I'm entertaining myself or what's happening here, but I'm having a good time right now. Ooh, a lemur in this one. A little bit of history. My jury doesn't like lemurs. There's a lemur prejudice amongst the jury. July 18th, 2016, Miami, Florida. A lemur attacked a woman as she was leaving her house. The animal jumped on her and bit her, so she called 911. When help arrived, the lemur started chasing officials. The animal was eventually caught, and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, otherwise known as FFWCC, opened an investigation into where the lemur had come from. Some people in the area were licensed to have them, but did they have them? Was this a lemur? Where did the lemur come from? Did the lemur materialize? Did it bite? I don't remember, actually. Hang on. It did bite. Right, right. I, I can retain information pretty dang well. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm, I'm kind of like the Library of Alexandria here. That's a pretty bad example. Wait, don't know, don't know if you can read that, because it might be backwards. But it does say, late in the boat keep. Just a pretty cool NPC in the D&D session we're running. Layton's a cool guy. Layton's a little creepy pedophile. Layton the boat keep is kind of like inspired based on Joe Biden, but an alternate universe where Biden doesn't fuck bitches every single day. I know that I said I was going to do a video case right after this one, but I did lie to you because we're going to do one more text case here. No, I, I'm just kidding. We're going we're gonna to do the video case right now. So this one's called Monkey Bite. Batu Caves. I don't know where Batu Caves is. It looks like... I don't want to be racist. Brazil? Are there monkeys in Brazil? Is there a monkey in Brazil? <laughs> yeah. Whoa! 
There's a pigeon. So far, there's no provoking. This man is being very... Oh! oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what kind... Dude. Yeah. Oh, he's good. Where'd he... The dude literally just put his hand out there and touched a monkey's foot and didn't expect to be bited. And then the monkey bited him and he smacked him on the head. Dude, where would he ask for it? Dude, where would he ask for it? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Where would he ask for it? That would do weird, weird. What the fuck am I saying? Can you get evicted for being cringy? So. He beat his hand. He needs an injection, bro. Did you give him a deep bite, bro? Wow. Okay, so don't, don't look at that one. That's a spoiler. So obviously, this man was guilty. Don't just don't touch the monkeys. That's a, it's so basic. It's so basic. Just don't touch him. Feed him. Sure. Admire him from even close, even a close distance. Doesn't give a fuck. Look at that man. He's just enjoying life right now. Dude's vibing. Just chilling. But you needed to take it a step further and give his little tootsies a tickle. Unfortunately, that didn't end so well for him, and he got a little bite. And uh, additionally, maybe even more. Additionally, maybe even more. Take three. Additionally, maybe even more importantly, human got a guilty point, which puts them at four guilty points. Okay, I haven't read this one yet, but I can tell that it is going to be wonderful. May 1st, 2016. Yep. Yamasi! South Carolina. 19 Reese's macaques escaped from an enclosure at the Alpha Genesis Experimentation Facility around 1.30 p.m. Thank you for the clarification. All had been accounted for by 7.30 p.m. Although some had not been recaptured by that time. They had been spotted in the trees by the property. They had been spotted on the tr They had been spotted by the trees in the property. I said that three times. And while looking away from the text, to do a dramatic turn to the camera, I don't think I said it correct a single time. They had been spotted in the trees on the property. So they escaped. Some of them did not come back. Who cares? Get this the fuck out of my courtroom before I go ape shit. I'm gonna end up on one of these lists. Not that kind of list. I'm kinda, I'm gonna be real. I'm kinda sick of these text chats. Because these text ones are just not, they're not doing it for me. There's no case in any of these. I mean, occasionally. Like, we can go down to the next one real quick, just to, just to check it out. April 16th, 2016, Sanford, Florida, a 25-pound black-handed spider monkey escaped from an enclosure at the Central Florida Zoo, causing the facility to shut down briefly. The monkey was recaptured using a net after 20 minutes. That's kind of cool. It's kind of funny, but it's not a case. So let's go to a, do a video. This one's pretty cool. This one, I haven't watched it. But I can already tell by the title of this, I almost said movie. This would be a really good movie. Monkey vs. Human Slapdown. And I'm gonna wager that this one is not a case either. We'll see, maybe it gets violent toward the end, but I, I don't know. can't see. What are you doing? I can't see. This is so boring! What? And what? I'm trying. You're slowing me down. Dude's tweaking just a little bit. Do you want me to get your... <laughs> oh no! Did you see his heart break? I saw it break in real time. Twice now! Oh my god. No. 
No. No, please. I'm fragile. That's what he said. Legend said she broke each and every one of his little baby monkey toes. Well deserved. That was no case. Imagine that. You guys, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing thin. I've been sitting in this chair for well over three hours. This is not, this is not easy work, alright? This is a thankless job. <sighs> Someone's gotta do it. Alright, here's the last video case text. Whoa! <laughs> okay. As I was stomping through my kitchen toward my camera, two things happened. One, I got more pretzels on my toes. <laughs> Isn't that fucking awesome? And then I also messed up this little, you know, contraption that I set up. That was no cake. What am I fucking saying? Dude threw sand at everybody. All right, monkey got one point. We're on 4v4. This is a tight one. We're, okay, we're going to... Usually we kind of filter it through the text cases and the videos, but I'm having a blast with the videos So I'm gonna just let it roll. Let it roll <laughs> This one by the way is titled Really strange chimpanzees No attack from behind the glass at the zoo. So I am very eager to see what happens here uh, Those are certainly not chimpanzees though Ooh, buddy. Bro, if that monkey was doing that to me, he would catch these fucking gavels. Okay, uh, that was, that was definitely a threat. Was it provoked? There's just, there's not enough evidence for me to say whether or not that was provoked. So, we're gonna, we're, we're, we're this is ridiculous. These, these cases are non-conclusive. Hopefully some more evidence comes forward so we can convict, but I mean as this stands there's just a lot of there's a lot of open-ended cases today. So we're going to move back to the text for now and see if we can dig anything up. All right, April 15th, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, a female black and white Columbus monkey escaped from an enclosure at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. The animal was recaptured and returned to the enclosure uninjured. <coughs> Wrong. Not a case. March 19th, 2016, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Tika, a two-year-old Siamang. Siamang? Siamang, is it? Tika, a two-year-old Siamang, escaped from an enclosure at the ABQ Biopark Zoo. The clo- The cloak is I swear I've got a reading, like some kind of learning disability. I should probably get that checked out. If you wanted a competent judge, you got him. February 23. February. February. Who came up with February? During a U.S. Department of Agriculture inspection of Alpha Genesis Incorporated, a monkey breeding facility and research laboratory, a female macaque escaped from her primary enclosure and was loose in the room. Her cage had been closed with a clip, not a lock. What, a fucking paper clip? What do you mean a clip? I mean... Fuck. I want to be done with this today at some point so I can clean up the fucking pretzel dust and take a shower. Wash this filth off of me. That's five for humans. Five for humans, four for monkey. It was a close battle, but we can put the axe in humans. And put them behind bars. In that order, I guess. We should maybe do that with most people. Imagine if the criminals that we sent to prison, we just cut them in half first. I know that America is pretty worried about the prison capacity and it being at its maximum. Just cut them in half. That's kind of a no-brainer. Take the top half. I don't care what you do with it. Give it to kids. Let them put, put it on the playground. I don't know. Kids like severed bisected bodies. Okay, I know that we just finished the cases, but I want to... I, I, hmm. I, I kind of read ahead for just a second. Not enough to spoil myself, but I did see one sentence that I thought was particularly hilarious. So, I don't I don't know if it's a case or not, or anything. It doesn't really matter, because we're done with the cases today. But, I, I just, you know, curiosity killed the capuchin. September 29th, 2015, Sanford, Florida. Police were called when a monkey named... Zeke started eating the contents of someone's mailbox. When the patrol car arrived, Zeke began pulling the molding off of it. The person responsible for Zeke was able to retrieve him and take him home, where he was kept as a pet. 
That, that doesn't seem like a case. I just love the imagery of a monkey hunched over on a mailbox, just fucking going to town, you know? <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very sophisticated and dignified episode of Monkey Judge Supreme. I hope you learned a little bit about monkeys. I hope you learned some safety tips, how to not end up in monkey prison or monkey court in general. You don't want to catch a case. Just make sure you're respectful of all monkeys that you come across. That way, you know, you can always say that it's not provoked if a monkey bites you and then you're you're probably going to be okay. Get yourself a good lawyer. Um, I know a few monkey lawyers. <clears throat> I'll see you in court next session. <sighs> Courtroom adjourned. Look at this. Look at this.